Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I've been covering linked data types in Excel ever since they came out. They are phenomenal. Just last week, I did the relocation template, which covers the city data type. Today, I'm going to do universities and colleges. So first of all, they are a linked data type, but I'm going to actually show you a template you can download and how cool the template is. So in case you're wondering what's the linked data type, I'm going to put in UGA, which is the University of Georgia. I'm going to just make, uh, make a few up here. Rice University, Harvard, and I'm going to do one more UCLA. It doesn't matter what you type in, just select them. I do want to point out this is really cool. Watch what it does with UGA. So data, here are your linked data types. You need a Microsoft Excel 365 account for these to work. Stocks and geography were the first two that came out, and I have videos on those. But then they've added all these other ones recently, including zip code, which I'm a big fan of. I did cities last week. Today is universities. So when I click university, you obviously need an internet connection. Watch what happens. And it's called a linked data type because I've got all this data or these fields I can put in here. Like I might want to know, okay, what's the student enrollment or student population? Well, that would be all students. If I wanted to know the country and region, I could click that, number of full-time students. So let's just take a look at a few of these before I show you the actual template I want to use. So here's all students. Let's do some more fields. Um location, pulled in the city, one more, let's do the number of full-time students, there you go. So that is a linked data type. In case you're wondering, one, one more item I want to point out, I've also done diseases and I've done different dog breeds. Now diseases and dog breeds aren't up here, but that falls under an automatic data type. So there are a lot of data types that Excel will pull from, even using automatic. I'll be doing more in the upcoming weeks, but let's go look at that template I want to show you today. So I'm going to close this file out. So here is Microsoft's announcement on insider.office.com. Last week, I showed you the relocation helper where I put in cities. Today, I'm going to show you the college decision helper template. So step one is to go download it. There it is in the bottom left corner. Click it once. You probably will have to enable a couple items when it loads. Enable editing, no big deal. And enable content. Move it up just a tad. So I want to start off by telling you there's three worksheets at the bottom. If you look in the bottom left corner, welcome. I'm not worried about right now because I'm explaining this to you. But here's it's telling you what this is going to do. If I click on compare colleges, that will jump me to the worksheet compare colleges. And then we have a third worksheet that says track applications, which is a really cool feature too. But what I'm going to focus on is these compare colleges. It's from Microsoft, so University of Washington, Seattle campus is already there. I'm just making this up. I don't care about saying that. Let's see if it picks up my UGA for University of Georgia. UGA, I hit the tab key. So not only did it pick up University of Georgia, it gave me their logo. Gave me their website, uh, graduation, ra graduation rate, down below is the city, the region, the city's population. So this is all just great stuff. There's even a map there. There is the enrollment, population, undergraduate and graduate, full and part-time. So let's throw in a few more. I'm just making this up again. I think I had Rice University. Uh, Northwestern, let me, by the way, I'm not even typing, it's popping in the names for me. I'm not even typing in the full name and it's helping me out here. Northwestern, it didn't pick up. Let's see why, if you, if you get this icon with a question mark, it's probably wanting to know, okay, which one do you want? 
Um, I'm going to select that one. One more is UCLA. I could keep on going. I'm going to stop right there. So this is your college decision template. Great feature from Microsoft. You do need a Microsoft 365 account. And here's your track applications, which I didn't even look at. Um, This is pretty cool, UCLA. Let's just put in uh, two more. That's enough, U UGA and UCLA. And then select from the drop down. So I hope that helps. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section. Have a great week. Thank you.